Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I was asked to do a book review, to read a book that I have been sort of avoiding reading for, for quite some time because I frankly thought that the book was kind of going to be some soft bullshit type of, of thing and it wasn't going to be very good at all. And this book is called Models by... I just, <laughs> Mark Manson, the, the same guy who wrote this uh, book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I did a review on this one. I bet you're wondering what I think about this book, especially those of you that have asked me to read this book. I like it. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. It's actually really good. I thought this was going to be some really soft bullshit about, you know, the kind of very PC and very like, let's not offend anyone and let's not get to the heart of the matter, the heart of the matter. But it was not, it was not that. It was really very good, straightforward advice. The same, very similar philosophy and mindset that I, I try to convey on this channel that I have, which is that you have to improve you. You have to be honest, say what you think and not be afraid to say it and not be afraid to accept re consequences, rejection, reality as it is. But you also have to improve yourself and continually work to improve yourself. There's a lot of really good content in this book. I'm not going to do a book summary in, in this in this case, but I, I do want to tell you that it's solid. It's it's right on. It reminded me of a, of a of a more PG version of, of a book that I reviewed called Mode One. I, I get so many requests from you guys to, re to review these these guidebooks, and, and a lot of them are shit, you know. But there's there's some good ones out there, and and this one was good. There's different angles and different perspectives. Now I will say one thing that that Mark Manson, I, I'm like 90% of the way there with him, but I do feel like there is a little bit of a of a missing aspect of of a, of a sort of a darkness right that that you sort of have to have right I, th I think maybe the the bad boy side of it is is a little bit missing from this this book not a hundred percent missing but that's the that's really my only critique and it's a very small one I believe if you follow the advice in this book honestly and you honestly evaluate yourself you're gonna have a lot more success for you guys out there than than you may have had okay it, it, is, it is really solid and it is a book that it, I can appreciate the fact that it is written in such a way that it is not going to just totally offend women who, who may read the book as well. So so you, you you ladies out there, if you want to read this book, it, it's a I think it's it's got some pretty good advice for you as well and just some understanding and some psych, psychology in there. But it, it is it is really solid stuff. It really it really is. And I am shocked. It, it, so it, it's really awesome when I come in with an idea a mindset that I think this thing is not going to be good. I've got some preconceived notions and then I read a thing or I experience a thing and I am totally turned the other way and, and shocked. That, that's a good testament, I think, because I already had a bias coming into this book and it, it, it totally blew away that bias. So that's, I really can't recommend it enough. I, I think, again, I, I was very, very shocked. I, I thought this book was going to be crap. I thought it was going to be a lot of BS and it was not at all. And, and it gets to some hard stuff and it does go deep in, in some of the places. It's not totally PG-13. It's not, you know, super, ex there's some some books that are, are on that, but it, but it really focuses on on the core thing, I think, for, for you guys out there that are, that are reading this book that are, are trying to figure out how to it attract women and how to go up and, and approach and, and things like that is is that it, it's got to come from a genuineness from within yourself and it has to you ha the focus has to be on improving yourself for you to be able to be a man who does things for himself who does who does not try to please people okay or to manipulate by pleasing people and does what pleases himself and by being that independent person who goes what the, goes out and takes what they want and isn't afraid of what other people think and isn't trying to walk on eggshells or their image or how other people perceive them that that's the most successful way he taught I actually did a video on vulnerability that was based off of this this book because he sort of he I, I won't say necessarily changed my mindset but he put to words what I was thinking and he gave me a new concept to connect with vulnerability right to, to be able to say okay this is this is how I'm I'm defining vulnerability now based on on his definition of it I, I agree with that that makes a lot of sense so let's define that thing and, and I think that vulnerability 
shows shows strength. But vulnerability exposed comes from a place of extreme strength. They come from a place of being so unconcerned what other people think and and what their esteem of you is that your self-esteem is high enough that you can share things, that you can be vulnerable, you can show your weakness, or I don't wanna say your weakness, but, but your, your, your weak areas without feeling like uh, self-conscious of it, without being worried, without seeking approval, right? A lot of, a lot of you guys, a lot of what you're doing, the, the reason why you're not successful is because you're approval seeking. So this book is really good. Like I said, I, I would highly, highly recommend it. I would like to get Mark on here, actually. He's, he's I, I think he did an interview when I was last book with my, my friend, uh, big Brandon Carter. <laughs> Give a shout. I just ran into Brandon this, this weekend. He, oh gosh, I, he went to jail. <laughs> He did this video. Let's, uh, let's think to this video where he, where he talks about, oh my gosh, he did some kind of prank and, and uh, <laughs> funny, funny, funny stuff. Anyway, I think the book is good. If you want to get all of my book reviews that I do here, I usually read two to three books a week because why? Oh, I, I like to run a lot and listen to audiobooks. You can check out my whole list here. I'll probably go back through and, and hit some of my older books. I think I did like 73 books last year. All right, that's it. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time. And let me know if you like the book. Let me know if you read the book, you know, come back here, leave a comment and say what you got out of it. I would, I would appreciate that. And if you get a chance, you know, ping Mark uh, and, and tell him, hey, go, go on Simple Programmer and do an interview. Because uh, I would like to talk to him, especially after reading this book. I think he's, he's got some, some pretty good stuff. All right, talk to you next time, take care.